We're back once again with Swords and Sandals. It's currently 9.41 a.m. Wait, 9.41 a.m. I forgot to change my fix the date of the clock. Hold on. There, now it says 9.42 p.m. Okay, it is Sunday, August 10, 2014. We see Vegas in the town. Have us do some more great things. I don't know what his current question is. I will do it. I advise you to get to the ex find the exits as quickly as possible. You don't have infinite help for armor or food or torches. Take them both out. Uh oh, this one's a really bad laugh. The tab is, says that it's not responding. But I survived. I'm sure that the longer a, a gameplay part is, the lag eventually goes away. Eventually. What do you know? I actually got
I should be strong enough to make it. I have to find a lever. A lever. Descent. Luckily, there's nothing horrifying here. As there could be something absolutely devastating in the dungeons, it is best to find the exit as quickly as you can. There's nothing in here that can repair armor. Perfect, found an enemy to keep my battle range up. We have to Don't worry, this damage can be easily repaired. Oh my. 
Teleporters can be pretty bad at times. When you are unable to avoid one, and they teleport you far away, teleport you in a place where you lose progress. Cavern snagsels alone are 11 levels higher. And they're pretty hard to hit, too. Listen, to do this, you have to be a fool to do that. Look, one gem will only get 200 gold. Let me show you something why you have to be a fool to do that. Just simply go your bed. That'll get you way more involved. See how much gold that earned? Oh wait. Does it make me top him? That should be enough bananas for the character. With how much experience is required to level up nowadays and how hard it is to get, well, no back it out, looking back, back it out now.
the creatures in the in heart of the mountain, the monsters, are absolutely devastating. Try to avoid them, even though it is inevitable. Inevitable that I will run across one during my journey. That was pretty bad. Devastating. In this <laughs> devastating dungeon. Hey! Hey! Oh no, I can't even attack. I hope to have, if I can have at least one point of armor. It's very foolish to attack monsters of this strength. Set of my gold is over. Heart of the mountain. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Just make it to the exit. Yikes, it's a long journey. Yes. <laughs> 
cruel yet. Those check. No damage on level 16. Even with the shortened route, however, damage is guaranteed. One more floor. But it's not going to be easy. I have to find that leather. There it is. Perfect. Ah, uh, if only I had repair units. I think uh, higher, I found higher level figures that were catch dungeon monsters. You're the dungeon guardian and you're not even level 30. Four?
even with the absolute best results. these runes off I would only add these bonuses if I had the absolute best armor Even if you're even if you're lucky enough to not take any damage at all. You just can't give me a break, can you? Successfully beating them to sneak up to them. Oh, 
should be your big X. Gotta be the most important feat that Mangus has managed to accomplish yet. Slaying a dragon. As cliche as it is, it's gotta be the most impressive thing Mangus has done by far. A betrayal. With Tragi's defeat, you take the precious third fragment of the Grail and return to the surface. As you walk out of the cavern, a cold blast of air hits you. You gaze over at the Legion camp base where a bunch of Hikael's men wave to you and cheer. It is at this moment you realize you must now convince Hikael's to let you keep the Grail frame. Or perhaps the game is up? He chaos. I know. The most dishonest man to ever exist. No one to have completely pulled out for this. Wow, looks like Lucas. Looks like Rex the Hammer won't be seen anymore. It vexes me to see him back on the surface. I don't believe you have the real piece here. You're back far too soon. Find yourself unpleased. Here it is. You've done it. You killed Craigwell. Quickly, my friend. Give me the grill piece. Here it is. Amazing. See how it sparkles and shines. Almost as if it is alive. Ikeo stares at it for a long moment, then looks up at you. This is not the first piece either of us have seen, is it? Shall we discuss the other pieces you have? Other pieces? What are you talking about? Drop the shuri. Contrary to popular belief, I'm no fool. Wait a minute. Contrary to popular opinion, I'm no fool. Drop the charade. Contrary to popular opinion, I'm no fool. I know all about your quest. For I have found a grill piece myself. Deep in Lake Craigbeck. And what's more, I know you have three pieces of the grail. Ah, come now. I said let us speak plainly. You here are a secret mission. You've been betrayed by Legion, gained my trust, and wish to steal the grail piece I have from me. Do not deny this. My sources have told me the truth. Sources what? How do you know all of this? Lord P. Gray made the price our own, and as secretive as a vault. But there are others who are turned much more easily. Much as you have infiltrated my legion, so too have my men infiltrated your own life. Your life. There are no traitors. Only the grave and myself know about the real quest. Do not be so naive. One has been there all along. On. Since you were a frightened young greenhorn, unblooded in the arena. You know of whom I speak. No, I refuse to believe you. Rake the Hammer hated the League. Yes, Rake. It was always Rake. Who do you think kept pushing you forwards on your mission? who fast-tracked you towards all those arena champion fights, allowing you reason to progress deeper and deeper into the dungeons. No. Ray was always kind to me. He knew nothing of the mission. You are much mistaken. Daily, Ray would report to me your every move. While you fought in the dungeons, Ray had you followed. Why do you think I allowed you to just walk into my camp and gain private audience with me time and time again? 
The House of Meg is now under Legion control. Brave the Hammer was a spy for the Legion? Oh, I was heard from this. No, no. 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 No need for that. Greg is dead. He knew far too much. And I couldn't keep him alive any longer. How could I trust a man whose allegiance could be bought so easily? You and I are in more pressing business. You're not taking the grill pieces from me. You will not, and, and you will not take the piece I found either. It seems we're at an impasse. You have three pieces, I have one. All five are needed to resurrect Ingratis. What's in it for me if I help you return Ingratis to this world? I want power, real power. Ha 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 ha. You are an ambitious one. I don't intend to let Ingrid loose upon the world. Not after he ruined my armies and thwarted me during the Crusades. However, to steal his power, we will need to resurrect him. With all five pieces of the Grail, I shall cast a spell to bring him to life. Then we shall absorb his essence and conquer this realm for ourselves. For the Legion! Return to Lord Regrave at Castle Claymore and begin the search for the Four Peaks. We will not speak again, but rest assured, once you have it of the Grail, I shall find you and we will assemble all five pieces. Is this all clear? Mangus. You have returned not a moment too soon. We have a great task ahead of us. But first, tell me what news from what news from your time with PKOs. I have much to tell you, Lord Be Grave. Please go on. Please, go on. Be grave. Please, go on. Be grave listens intently. Be grave listens intently as you describe the events of the last few days. His face remains stunned. I believe there is something you are withholding, warrior. Have you told me... Have you told me everything upon your honor? So much has happened. It sends me that we lost Ray the Hammer to the Legion. He had long been an ally, but he chaos tells tells many lies and it seems he corrupted poor Ray the Hammer. We've not seen the last of the Legion. It seems we will indeed meet the chaos once more before this ends, for we will need the complete grill to be angry. He tells, tells the final piece of the grill lies here in the cathedral. He is right, but he was guessing. My presence here led him to that assumption. But the time has come for me to tell you of my more immediate reason for being here. Have you ever heard of the male violence, my friend? I'm afraid I've been living under a rock for some time. Please enlighten me. 
Many centuries ago, the dark entity that we call the Mavolins tried to enter our realm to devour it. With him, he brought a legion of demons and devils, and soon our world stood on the brink of ovulation. So the Lightbringer appeared in our darkest hour, and on the plains of Oryx, banished him from our world forever. That was a great story. You should write a novel or something. You need to know this. The malevolence seeks to return, using Anquities as a vessel. Anquities' physical body lies in a tome, in the very tallest tower of the cathedral. It is lifeless, just a suit of armor and some bones, but in his skeletal hands once lay the last fragment of the ground. The tome of Anquities holds the final veil piece, the body of Anchorites held the final grail piece, but no more, alas. For the Malevolence has stirred. His Lieutenant Zol Sir has entered a realm and now stands guard over the Tome of Anchorites. Zol Sir holds the final grail piece. Mangus. Weren't that simple, Mangus? The cathedral is becoming overrun by demons. There are powerful wards in place to stop them escape. If we are to climb, you will need to break three wards. To break the first ward, you must enter the cathedral and deal as much damage to our enemies as you can. While you head up to the main... Wait a minute, what will you be doing during all of this? While you head up the main tower, I shall go to divert the demon soul through its attention by leading an attack from the secondary tower. If he should discover your presence before all the wards are dispelled, you will not survive. Understood. I shall enter at once. <laughs> To get to the cathedral, I'm going to have to defeat four more arena champions. Man, we're all the way up to the lost cathedral. Yikes, the cathedral. The most dangerous dungeon. Even the first floor has creatures, has incredibly powerful and dangerous creatures. In fact, just killing one monster in this cathedral would make you more than a fifth of the way there. I can still move. Yikes, there are some powerful creatures in this cathedral. Back in, they made him level 32. Is 
the first ward still up, we gotta ascend further to the ramp. The ward is broken! Truly, you are courage personified. If we survive this, you'll make an excellent Templar, should you choose. Now listen, I have been reading Margo's manuscripts from the Battle of Payon. Only King Lono and Baron Wolfgang know these exist. Virgil's manuscript. Strike me down. What does it say about the Grail? There are, of course, hundreds of pages of runes, spells, and strange notes that make little sense to me. But from what I gather, we will somehow need to read the Grail itself once we have all the pieces. The first component, somewhat fortunately, we have access to. Whenever you kill a demon, there is a chance they may drop a soul shard. We're going to need five of them. Five soul shards it is. Okay, kind of close. Close, that's kind of close for comfort, but okay. I just want the experience in the quest give. Good thing that burn wasn't too bad. Further. If I still don't get experience, then that will be quite sad. And as always, I still don't get experience.
eating more so to just to heal health. Oh, there's still a chance I may. Now I just have to get out of here. I can just get healed. In order to exit, you have to go down. Plays well. A level higher than me and still has a lower combat. Were you able to find any soul shards, Mangus? I have all five. They make me feel uneasy and angry sometimes. I know the feeling. They feed off hate. They are not of this world. And the souls within desire all that we are. Give them to me. I shall put them somewhere safe. Listen. You look weird. The toll this is taking on you is visible. How can I rest? We are so close to defeating Anchorage. We are close. I believe we will defeat him, but not today, my friend. Be grave. Smiles for the first time. In truth, we can't destroy the second ward yet. The magic is staggered so that only one ward can be dispelled per day. This was done as to give warning to the Lords of Van Orn, should the cathedral ever be breached. So if I can't break the second ward until tomorrow, what would you have me do? I can't believe I'm saying this. But go have some fun. This time, the grave actually breaks out in a laugh. Ha 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 ha. I know you're a gladiator. Go fight some battles. There's a beast as big as I've ever seen down in the arena today. An arena champion called the Giant Zugazoid. I bet you could make short work of it. Ha ha ha. Now you're talking. And the grave... Thanks. Oh, he's a squid.
There are 10 steps that like us first week. All I have to do is simply survive two or three steps. Oh, it's hard to hit. Take me down in less than in two hits or less. I'll, I'll cut you to cheap to bits in probably ten seconds left. Time it once I start ten. One, two. 
Done with the championship. I'm going to need absolutely everything to survive this battle. The biggest squid ever. The giant super adult. Careful, he can cause immense poisoning. And he is ten levels higher than you. Ten levels, counting. Ten. When the engineer Boron first climbed Sul's Peak, he discovered a Zookazoid many times greater in size. The Levian Beast has seemingly fallen and become frozen in an ice wall. Further investigation re revealed that the Yukazoid was in fact still alive in hibernation. Engineers cut the block from the ice and thawed out the mighty beast. When it woke, it found itself in the arena and was immediately aggressive. Many unfortunate gladiators have met their demise inside its slimy belly. Well, that ends today. Alright, a lot of them. Yikes. I don't know. Listen, I know a way to get more experience. There's just one problem. I know a way to get the experience needed to level up. There's just one problem. It's extremely, it's an extremely slow map, but it's the only one that'll work. Very slow, but it's the only method 
that is sure to work. It wouldn't be so bad if I could just keep dueling over and over. It would shave off a considerable amount of time. With that Feels, it, I guess it's decently quick, but it's going to take some time. As soon as I get a hundred wins, pop the champagne. say I'd never lose again, but there's still the chance of a grievous hit. Seriously, I can do a ton of damage while in battle. 
went all the way straight. I need to tell you something. I have spent every single skill point that I could give in strength. All of them. I mean, at first, there were times that I thought about spending it in something else. But I spent those skill points in strength instead. Because my problem suddenly went away. I uh, can't hit anyone problem can be solved by doing two shouts of rage for me at least. And I think this is a higher level weapon that we I believe there's a new higher level weapon once I level up. experience gift I get. I used to believe that beating the arena champion would be an instant level up, but it only gives a set number of experience, just like everything else. Learned that the hard thing I didn't result in a death, it did, only I was going to get a little bit more to kill my health. How much damage I can do basically with my strength. That 2% increase is going to become more powerful with each level up. As I mentioned with the battle rate, that effect gets multiplied. That effect only gets multiplied even more. going to take a considerable amount of minutes. their health once. Well, when 
each level up is roughly. So that makes each level up, every 1,000 is roughly five doors, or two and a half minutes. That's a lie, I am earning more experience. I now have 55 chances. So let's see, there are parts where the plot ends up too fast, and then... So let's see, there are two periods. The warp period, in which I rapidly do quests at an insanely fast rate, and then there's the grind period, which you are seeing right now, in which I might have to... I may have to level up in order to reach the next arena. Making me seem like a worse gladiator than I really am. That's gonna lure people into a trap purely because of a lot of unnecessary deaths. Because as you can tell, I think that I can most of the That's essentially...
a 2% healing effect when you have between 95 and 100 fullness. You get more powerful when you reach level up and you have more health. This means one thing less than one health. Oh, that Again, that's a lie. I am earning more experience. Just not very quick. By now, the only memorable fights I have are the ones of me with either Arena Champions or Dungeon Champions. Those are the only memorable fights of mine. Of Mangy. Actually, I'm actually part of this. You see, let me explain. They make me the leader. They make me the manager of the house of magic. And so Bank is, is just the guy who helped make Bank's glory for us. And you better believe that Bank is going to quickly become one of the greatest, greatest gladiators you've ever seen if he's not already the greatest gladiator you have ever seen. You would probably need to be level 100, and I don't think I'll ever get that much experience, considering with how much I've already been. You think he keeps going after 100? I think I'll get 50,000 gold before I get to the level, reach level 23.
as I actually did from duos, then I would actually be able to reach the same level as the arena champions that I face in little in quick time. But because I don't But because I don't, then I struggle to see this be a high enough level to beat them with battle. As you can as you can see, the giant Yoda. It's the biggest squid you've ever seen. But I think I can beat him and remove yet another troublesome arena champion. It keeps me from... They keep me from progressing in my quest. Whenever I defeat one, I reach the next champion. And so you see, I must kill the arena champion. They are here to Fifty thousand gold. It would be absolutely absurd if anyone had a million. There's, I seem to be able to take down gladiators with my hunger pains alone. What is it then? My resist? If just resisting a certain elemental effect will take down or damage my emotions. No, that's called the weapon of elemental effects. Right? Okay, just one more. I am very sure that there is just one more. I made Mangus as tall as I can. He still does not. But he still is dwarfed by the arena champion all the time. And if you think this giant squid is the strongest arena champion ever, you, my friend, are mistaken. Sadly, there is much tougher than a mere giant squid. Believe me, if I am not able to beat this giant squid after my level up, it will be. Cool. 
no evil dooms us hopelessly except the evil and desire to continue. We make no effort to escape you. Yes! Wait, aw, oh, that's just a special ability. Um... Oh, it... Apparently it's more... Um, special ability is another name for passive ability. Gonna need lots of help. Surely... Oh wait, hold on. I am not ready quite just yet. One more duel just to speed myself up. Can't duel on an empty stomach now, can I? I think I know what's going on here. I earned as much experience. I earned one experience point for every gold I earned. So it seems to me that I would have 100,000 gold before I managed to level up again if I were to do it to the next level. But I'm not going to do that because there's a certain weapon. We're talking about just the swords. It's one of the best ways. I wait, wait. Oh, I knew. I thought there was gonna be a brand new sword for me. Um. I believe that it is impossible to defeat that that has a thousand or more that has a power level a thousand or more higher than you. If only there were a faster way to get experience. Is it due to some bad way?
if I can do this. I believe in myself. No, I don't like it. No. Decline. You don't want to see that, and neither do I. Flashing takes a while to stop. Even though it's not really flashing, I just call it that because it goes to white, then to black, it seems. Huh. Ah, okay. Moment in the sun. Tentacles frail as the giant mucozoid melts. So, mm. hold on. It seems to do that. It now seems to always do this whenever I beat the alien champion. The game may be absolutely flabbergasted by Mangus's skill as a gladiator. Or maybe because of how big it upset that problem was. But Mangus has an incredible advantage known as battle range. Not only that, but he has extreme strength. Meaning he can pretty much, meaning you would need to have a ton of help and armor in order to take him out in order to survive his attacks long enough to kill him instead of he killing you. I believe this is the last... No. There's some serious problem. Believe me, it will stop. Hopefully. I mean, I'm sure it does. I want to read the... The Champion Defeated text. This should be the last one, hopefully. Not 100% sure. Definitely a lot more buggy than I remember it. I don't remember it being that buggy. Oh, well, finally. Champion defeated. Moment in the sun. Tentacles flail as the giant eucozoid 
melt into the arena sand. The crowd cheers wildly. Apparently, Sir Thomas Gennon of the Bellamy Walrus Tavern is hosting a massive barbecue later this evening. Fried Kurami for all. You grin broadly. You grin broadly, allowing yourself to bask in the moment. It feels good to just be a gladiator for a while. Although at the back of your mind, you know the uh, you know the horrors of the lost cathedral still lie ahead. You have won yet another great battle. You have won yet another great battle. Act 4, Chapter 2. 2 divided by 4. 2 divided by 4. I. It's the other way around. 4, di four divided by 2 is 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Born for greater things. You catch yourself smiling broadly. Admit it. In your heart, you're a gladiator. How you got caught up in all of this saving the world business is beyond you. Considering you're a real bad guy. You head up the path to play more cathedral once more. It is currently 11.26 p.m. Till next time. Oh wait. Mangus, you're back already. Did you defeat the giant Euclid? I must confess, I a small wager on you to win. You just made yourself a sack of gold. Be great, my man. Let us pray. I'm here long enough to enjoy it, old friend. Now, on to more serious matters. We're ready to destroy the second floor. Sharpen your sword and head up to the Freezeberry of Miracles. This ward is a lot tougher. You'll need to be at your very best. May Sewell guide you. It shall fall this very day. It is currently 11.27 p.m.